Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are going to be going through the completed story of the game so far. How I believe that the story is supposed to be played, how you'll go through each one of the scenes and how you'll get through each base and how you're going to get to the end, which at my point, the end is being able to fight the Broodmother. So that's the way that the story has progressed to this point and I will be explaining a couple things along the way. But before we do that, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe, but let's hop in and let's have ourselves a great time so i'm playing as pete right now you'll see that i have gone through and i've spawned in a couple items for me i have spawned in my hammer so i could fight things as we go i've also turned on god mode that way none of the bugs are going to kill me because i want this to be a very very easy run through the game so let's start with when you first get summoned out so when you first get into the game uh the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to run over here with pete okay you're going to come out here pete's going to say some cool stuff or whatever uh team you happen to be playing playing with at the time but you're gonna run over here okay you're gonna run back around this way you're probably gonna pick up some stuff and do some resource analyzing but i'm not doing that right now we're focusing on story running up over here you get to run across this giant um mat more or less this giant uh controller is really what it is all right so then you press target all right and then you'll see that only one of the lasers is actually connecting with the uh, with the with the system here, so you got one over here that's pretty much weak sauce, and then you got another one that's blocked by a blade of grass. Let's start with the one that's a blade of grass. What you'll do is you'll craft yourself an axe. In order to craft yourself an axe, you need to research pebbles and you need to get some crude rope and you need to get some sprigs. But as soon as you do that, you cut down that piece of grass. You now have um, the laser pointing directly at that orb. So. That one's done. Now let's talk about the last laser over here. The third laser you're gonna run over to, right over here, in order to make that one work, is there's covering mites all over the power cord. We're gonna go wipe those out. Um, I do have a torch here to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see what I'm doing once I go down into the tunnel. Um, I've done this so many times though that I've started to do it um, by just by memory. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna wipe out one, two, run into the base after you wipe out the third one there you go get yourself that four skip those ones come on down here five and six all right so that is what you need to do in order to get that last laser working now there are lots of mites in here and you can come here and grind out mites by the way to get some early mite fuzz in order to build some armor that's a really good idea i su i suggest that you guys go through and do that okay the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run back over to the bathroom scale thing again or the mysterious machine as they call it and you want to press the button all right, so let's run back over here and press the button. Now, on my way over to the button, I do want to point out a couple things to you guys. I'll be cutting out parts of this video. A lot of it's going to be, be me just running through the yard. Um, so I'll cut out those parts for you. But let's activate that guy. Okay. Whoops. Uh, my bad. Okay, so now that you've gotten done that, now the next thing that you need to do is you need to run over to the oak tree lab. So we are going to run over here really, really fast. Okay, here we are at the oak lab. Now that takes about a minute and a half to run over here, which is a good amount of time, but you just run in here, okay? And then you're going to be met with a little bit of a puzzle at the bottom of this flight right here. As soon as you're down here, it's gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna want you to pull this switch, right? That doesn't do anything because all of these right here are not activated. So let me show you guys the trick to getting these. Boop, boop, done. Let me go ahead and get that guy done. And you want to go ahead and fight this Taze T right here. That's why I brought my Mint Mace. You just wipe him out really, really fast. All right. Once he's wiped out, we're going to go back into third person. We're going to run over here and we are going to help up Burgle. Okay. Burgle's going to tell you some stuff that he wants you to do. Or more or less that, you know, he just needs help. All right. There you go, buddy. All right. You sit there and chit chat for a little while, buddy. Don't forget that raw science and run over here. 
and put this uh, button. There you go. Now we're going to run out of here. Now, this is kind of where the story kind of takes a turn. It depends on how you want to run through the story at this point, because there's three labs that you can go to and none of them have particularly been laid out in any sort of way that tells you that that's the way that you're supposed to do it. You have the hedge lab, you have the haze lab, and you have the underwater lab. The way that I see the story going the best is the hedge lab, then the water lab, and then the haze lab. I don't know why, but that just makes the most sense to me. It could be because that's the order they came out with in the game, but that's the order that makes the most sense to me. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run over to the hedge, we're going to run through that and then we are going to quickly run through the hedge to show you guys how to get from the start of the hedge to the end of the hedge and then we are going to do a quick walkthrough of the actual path to go in order to grab all of the password pieces to finish out the hedge base. At the hedge, now what we're gonna do is we are going to run up this way. What you're looking for is the small twig that it has the paper clip leaning on it. This is gonna be the easiest way for you guys to get up into the hedge, so just run over this way and follow this exact path, right? Right, right, right. Following this up, continue straight. Follow this around. Keep following to your right. Go over this way. Now you're looking for these mushrooms. Jump up the mushrooms to your left branch. You're gonna run right here and you're going to take this rope lift. <laughs> Taking the zip line down. Okay, that looks great. Come up, down. Don't fall off like me. There you go and take it down around that. You could also just take this little path around if you want to be safer. All right, so following this all the way over here, you're going to run over here. You're going to see this base piece here. Now, this is vitally important that you guys run inside of here for no other reason than to grab the best scabby in the game, the bug juice scabby. We're just going to go ahead and put that on because it's that good. There it is. Yeah, that's right. That's perfect. Okay, so then you're going to follow this around, and this is where a lot of people get confused and lost. Follow this down to the left around these mushrooms and then take this next ride. Okay, you're going to zip line across over here. Very nice. Up this twig and onto the frisbee. There's another scabby right there you could grab, and that's the entrance to the brood mother. More on that in just a moment. Running up over this way. We're gonna run over here, and you're gonna follow this path around. You can either go up and get on that zip line, or you can ride this one by getting on it right here. I prefer getting on right here. Your stamina recovers while you're on the zip line, so then you pop off of it, run away from the little tiny spiderlings or fight them if you so choose. And then you're going to take an immediate left as soon as you get out of that door. That's important, okay? Take an immediate left, go up these mushrooms. And this is where a lot of people get lost because they're like, well, the, the road ends. Don't go there, go up to your right. Go up here, hop up on top of this stick, walk up around this way, and then take this zip line on into the base. All right, so that is a complete walkthrough of how to get through the hedge to your base. Turn that on, grab your inner lab notes because those are important. Realize that your password's missing, you need to go get pieces of it, and we're gonna run through and get password pieces. Now, if you follow this path, you will make sure you get all of them. So the first one you're going to wanna get is right inside of here. You're gonna run up and grab this one. Caution while you're in here, there's Orbeaver Juniors and Spiderlings everywhere. Okay, we got that one. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this guy out of the way. Coming in here, we're going to go over this way. Excuse me. And we are going to zip down this little path that's right here. Boop. Walk up here and zip down this little path that's right here. To grab this password piece. Perfect. Now, here's the trick. You wanna jump out and get back over there. So jump out here, okay? Jump onto this stick here. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to get back down to this entrance that's right here, okay? Jumping over here, able to get back up over here. 
grab that raw science in your way in and now what we're doing is we're going all the way up okay so you're gonna run past all this over here and you're gonna go all the way up so run over here excuse me excuse me run past all the taze t's that are in here i'm assuming at some point in the future we are going to get arkers inside of this base most likely as well which will be really cool but let's keep running up here now this is a supply room up here this is a great place to get some food and some extra supplies if you need them go ahead and zip down right here jump off before you get there so you can get to this spot and drop down here grab that piece there you go you got your password now and you're gonna wipe this out right here boop boop very nice now you're gonna run on over this way passed over here and then you're gonna go down here now what you want to be careful about going down here guys is that this uh berry that's right here will uh will be in your way and will knock you down so just go ahead and grab something and give it a huck at it so you can get rid of it i had to get rid of my axe but that's okay come on down here and grab the last password piece now wipe this out so you can get through run around this way and run back up okay these hedge spiders are up to no good that's right the hedge spiders are up to no good running through here you're going to notice you're back in the area again and then you're going to take this little path back down to that computer terminal and log into it so let's run over here run down here go to this computer terminal log in and then divert the power Boop. don't forget your burgle chip don't forget your rotten gas mask and don't forget your control room notes all right now before we leave here there's one more thing that you want to grab before you go running out of this base thinking that you're done you want to go back up to that top area again okay and this is why you want to go back to the top area take that zip line down but don't hop off of it okay or actually no you do want to hop off of it but you want to not drop into the hole that's there because there's a hole that's right there that you drop down into in order to get the password piece you don't want to do that okay i'm going to show you guys why this is how you get the broodmother blt recipe so you ride up here right about here you control off so you jump off and then you're going to follow this little path around this way okay jump over this stick and then this stick you want to jump up on follow it up over here follow this pathway out right over here all right and then run up this direction all the way up here jump go in here wait for this door to open up jump in here grab yourself your scabby grab your broodmother research notes and hop on out Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run all the way across to the pond lab that's right over here. In order to get down, just follow this down. You guys know that pathway that you climbed all the way up? Well, you can get all the way down inside of the hedge base as well. Take that path and go on down here. In fact, I'm a little, I'll even jump down here. Now, I do not advise doing this because if you're not in God mode like me, this will kill you. But you want to go all the way through the hedge base, go all the way down this tunnel. It's going to pop you out right there, and you'll be able to run right over here to this doorway and follow it down. Now, the next place, like I said, that we are going to go is into the pond lab in order to do that. So I'm going to meet you guys right over at the pond, and we're going to jump in. I'll show you guys where you need to go in order to get all the way through that as quick as possible. Here we are, we're right over here at the little pond, and what you're going to do is you're going to run over, you're going to get on that stick, you're going to run over to these lily pads, okay, and then you're going to dive in. Now, what I would suggest if you're going to come over here is at least a gill tube, if not a breathing mask, and some flip-flops, because you will die going all the way through here without some fin flops and at least a breathing tube, because there is just a lot of underwater parts here so just continue to follow this straight down following this tube grab oxygen if you can from this little oxygen tube that's pulling out right here i would suggest that you just go ahead and wait a second and get some oxygen from this tube while it's there boop there we go you'll see mr dinosaur how's it going mr dinosaur don't forget to come over here and get your spear because it's free and why not and then follow the 
the water down this way. There are a ton of hidden things in here like sunken bones, uh, scales, a treasure chest that you can get into, um, and a couple other things as well, including hidden scabbies and all of that. So you can get all those items if you want to, but we're not focusing on that right now. What we are focusing on is labs. So like I said, I am on God mode, so I will not die from drowning but you guys definitely will. So I definitely do not advise coming through here and doing this without a guild tube on, okay? All right, so you're gonna come over here, you're gonna swim back this way and up over to this location right back here. With a guild tube, you would have made it for sure. Uh, the diving helmet gives you a little bit more certainty, but this is a pretty good way to do it. And while you're over here, grab your rotten diving lantern because it's really gonna help. Or your slime lot your slime lantern. So go ahead up here, get yourself some oxygen and flip this switch. Now this switch will open up this door that's right over here. But when you come in here, none of this will be open. So this won't be open, those doors won't be open. You have an arker in here that you just need to take out. Not a biggie, but this door will not be open, and that's the important one. So we're gonna go back over through here. All right, and we are gonna go down back into the water it's getting quite late. by going right over here. Before we do that, sleep. grab some sleep because when it's dark in game, it's hard to see everything. So let's just grab some sleep really quick. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna come right over here and we are going to come out this way. So you, that door is still locked right there. So you need to swim all the way back down this way again. And now what we're doing is we're looking for three switches. All three of these switches, uh, one is very easy to get to, one is just you have to find it, and the third one's kind of a pain in the butt, especially if you don't have fin flops. So it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the butt for me, but that's okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna come over here, look for switches that look like this, and turn them. So turning these switches will revert the power back to working inside of the pond lab. So I'm gonna swim back over here. And this is where the second switch is, back behind all of these twigs. So once you go over here, swim down, you'll see the red uh, electricity point right there. Flip that switch right there, excuse me, flip. And then we're gonna come over here. Now I'm gonna point out where the last one is, and then it's gonna take me a little bit of a minute to get there, so I will have to probably skip over that part, but it's right there. What you're going to do is you're gonna swim up an opening that's right here, you're gonna come down, there's a jet that's pushing water over here, so you're going to come down, swim through the jet, up and over to do that. So that's what we're going to do right now. It is a pain in the neck though, because that jet only turns off for just a second. So you have to roll the swim all the way that distance before running out of oxygen and before it turns back on. So you'll see here right now that I couldn't do it. So we're gonna wait for the water to turn back off and then I'm gonna swim. And with your fin flops, you normally can make this without a problem, just go around that corner. I'm gonna spawn myself in some fin flops. Give me just a moment. Got myself my fin flops. So you're gonna notice that the water is pushing me back, but now I can swim over here without a problem. So I'm up over this way. There is a scabby flavor right there. It's the worst one in the game, but you can grab it if you want to. Turn that one back on and then swim back out again. And you're pretty much just going to get all the way out at this point. So you're gonna go through here, but there is a bonus to flipping all of those switches is that you see those green markers right there? That now means that that door is open. So you can just swim straight for that door instead of trying to go through that tunnel before again. So you're gonna come right here. This door will open up and you'll be able to go through and get your guys some well needed O2 for your awesome journey. Good job with that. You're now in this area here, which is just an extension off of this area that's right over there. So let's go over here. You'll see that there's a door here that's still closed. You can't get through that. And what you'll see is that you can't get back to the area you're in before because you gotta come over here and flip a switch. So press the button and there you go. There's where your bed was. Okay, so running over here going straight and then to the left you're going to run down this way and you will need a shovel for this part because well you got to get through some stuff so let's go ahead and equip that lantern so we can see what we're doing grab our shovel and here we go so coming through here you'll have to go down this way 
all the way up over, up, over, and that's why you need your shovel is for a scabby that's right there. But if you just follow this pathway over this way, watch out for the random orb weaver that, or water, water spider that's over there that wants to eat your soul. Enter the password that you got from the other, from the hedge base. So enter that password in which is going to open up all of the doors in here. Grab yourself your research notes and stuff off the table over there and run back over this way. All right, now that we're in here, we're gonna run back and we're gonna get back into that main room that we were in before, which is right here. Once you're in this room, you'll notice that a couple other doors have opened, including that one over there, which has released a bunch of Taze Tees and Arkers. Ignore those, run this way. Running up here, you'll see the footprints from the Watcher. Follow that around. All right, you could fight all those guys if you want to, but I'm not going to run over here and flip the switch. That's all the way up here by logging into this. You're rebooting ominent doors. It's going to open up this big opening here. And then what you will do is you are going to run down, get attacked by Tasties, and then run through the other door that's in here. And when you run through the other door that's in here, there is a pathway out. All right, you're looking for the straight doorway. All right, going through the straight doorway, you'll follow it down. And there will be a little exit. Go through this exit, swimming down around this way. All the way up. And you found the pond hatch. Just keep swimming this way. Try not to get swallowed by the koi fish because he will try to eat you while you're running over here. All right. And uh, now you are done with the water lab. Now, the last lab that we are going to do is we are going to go over to the haze base. And the haze base will require you to use that rotten gas mask that you have, which is why I said following that path is the most logical path that you can at the moment. Okay. So coming over here, jump, jump, and jump. And now what you're going to do is you're going to run all the way over to the haze base, which is way that way or on the map. It is right here where that burgle chip is blinking. So I'm going to run over there right now and I'll meet you guys there. Here we are. Now what you'll notice is after you run all the way over here, you are going to start getting damaged. So you are going to need your gas mask. So go ahead and equip that guy up. Get yourself a little bit of full restore, so that way you don't die. Eat and drink on your way over here, uh, but now we're going to run through here. Now, this base is very dark, so you're going to need a lantern of some kind. Now, this base is not done yet. This base is not done, so everything I'm doing now is subject to change when they release the next update. So, let's go through here. We're going to come down here. And you're going to follow this path in order to get the final burgle chip that's in here and where the last thing's going to be that you need. So coming over here, you'll notice that you have a nice area that's here that you can go into. Jumping up over here, you have the watcher's room. There's some granola bars and some bombs over here for you to grab. Go ahead and grab those. Coming up over this way, you will follow this pathway down all the way around this area and out here. Watch out for all those infected weevils. They want to eat you. Running over here. You'll go down in this pondish, waterish area here. Following it around. And going up here. And grab this burgle chip that's right here. And at some point when you come in here, there will be a control point for another one of the lasers that you will flip another switch. Then guys, all that's left to do is to go back to the oak lab Turn in all your burgle chips that you have gotten and the other ones that are throughout the world, which by the way, if you guys were wondering, all of the burgle chips are lit up across the world here, here, um, there is one in the water there, and then there is one over here. So you guys can go get all those burgle chips, give them to burgle, and then unlock and start building bases, and then fight the broodmother using the recipe in the video that I had created before. But guys, that is it for how you go through all the bases and right now my understanding for the ordering of the bases hope this video helped you guys if it did make sure you guys hit that like button leave me a comment down below if you guys have a different way that you like to go through um these bases but right now this is the best in my opinion so i hope you guys liked it make sure you guys subscribe to me and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one